Well, hello. This is Jimmyism IRL, and well, I use uh, Gary's mod to like channelizing my creativity in a way. But also, well, I make some stuff in real life too, and I think that uh, well, maybe I should show you some uh, stuff that I've made. So basically, first of all, I have this creation which I basically finished like uh, yesterday. Um, I started building it uh, two days ago. So I basically made the parts from scratch, well, small trees and stuff. This um, is a carpenter's tool. I do not know um, what the word for it in English is. I will Google it up for you, of course. But anyways, you can form you have seen like tree structures like this and you have tools and you can like shape them by rotating this well actually right now it's uh, easier with uh, this instead of that well, I don't know a lot of uh, carpenters tools words in English since I never before um, had a chance to use those words. Anyways, I did not come up with this uh, structure myself. No, I did um, see it in uh, in the Middle Age week in Wiesby. I saw a similar construction, so I basically made it. So, uh, well, these are bending, so we can have this uh, feathering movement which make these rotate and down here I have a a pedal or something which make this rotate so well it's very simple construction it's very smart and it's and it works pretty good you have to have quite sharp tools to use it but I mean I think it's really I think it's really cool so, we will be moving on to some other stuff I made. Um, I've been um, constructioning on this for a quite long time. But I will, I will, I will take it out. Here it is. Um, I shall make it ready. Well, this is uh, a semi-automatic crossbow. Um, it's not very strong or functional yet, but I can show you the loading mechanism. It's like you bend it forward and then you automatically load it. This has place for three um, arrows. They're not sharp in any way and uh, I haven't mounted a uh, strong bow on it yet. I think I will construct a stronger bow so you actually can practice target shooting with it or something uh, now it's basically uh, it's basically for fun or the mechanics um, this construction is based of a Chinese semi-automatic crossbow named Shukonu which uh, was used uh, against um, among other things it was used against the Mongols in some wars um, they had because this uh, their crossbow was very cheap to uh, construct and it um, had a large magazine with small arrows like pencils and uh, those uh, were uh, poisoned however the Chinese lost the war anyways um, but um, the Shukono was a very good tool um, or weapon to have uh, that people could have in their homes to defend themselves anyhow they lost the war but uh, well it's a cool it's cool mechanics I will show you in a minute I've sort of made it ready um, I haven't arrows over on the ground but it's uh, kind of hard to operate with only one hand but what you do is you like bend this forward it's not optimal and then you yeah and then you can fire it like that. So well, that's basically the structure. I will see if I can well load some arrows. 
so you basically just drop them down there. I have an extended magazine which I can mount in these two holes, but uh, well, it's not very useful and I don't have many, very many arrows. Um, it has some jamming problem, but I mean, it's not worse than the M16 gun, which is horrible in jamming. Well, anyways, I will see if I can just, the, uh, as I said, this is hard to operate with, you know, only one hand. But if I kind of can, yeah, like that, I will see if we can, whoa, like that. Yeah, I don't need, know if uh, you saw it, it um, fired an arrow, though it was kind of, one arrow flew up in the air. Um, actually, this is quite, this doesn't function very well, um, since I don't have arrowheads on them, which make that they are smaller in size. Um, in the front of the arrow, which makes them jam easier. You see, I have these rubber bands to power it, so it's not very... Um, I mean, it's not a weapon. It's uh, just the mechanical wonder. But anyway, I thought that you maybe want to see some stuff that I have been making on my free time in the summers. So, well... I have been working for this uh, on small periods of times of summers for many years. But, uh, well, I think the mechanics is cool. Uh, this was a regular cr crossbow two years ago um, with a better bow, actually. But I've wanted to make this Shukonu uh, type of structure, so, well, I rebuilt it. Let's see if we can take off these rubber bands. So, well, so well, I have some other stuff I've built. Um, some furniture, actually I don't have it right here. But well, uh, there's another thing you might want to be seeing. Um, and that's a current project which I'm uh, currently doing, since I uh, wanted to make a um, smithy, uh, you know, um, hammer and steel, where you shape things with metal, hot metal. Um, so anyways, then you need hot air. And, well, I will take this out in the sun. Um, it's not done yet. It's half done. Uh, but basically, um, and again, I don't really know the English word for it, since I've never had any purpose to use the English word of it. This stuff is made of uh, some old wood parts, fencing wire, and uh, tape, and uh, pack plastics, so it's a no budget project. Um, it's not done yet. <laughs> this thing is supposed to create a stream of air um, that will uh, give the burning coal or wood uh, much oxygen so um, the heat can rise. So basically, uh, this uh, is the intake of air and this is the outtake. And when you like operate this, we need to get another thing. We need to get a little tube, since otherwise it locks itself, so it won't produce much oxygen. No, no. Ah, what am I saying? Anyways, we're going to put this tube in this old um, bicycle tire thing, you didn't see that, but now we have a tube here, and while we uh, compress this, we have an air stream here, you can't see it or feel it, but it is, and then the intake is there, and then you blow out air, 
So when this is done, it will have these on the both uh, both sides, um, which will make this uh, whatever way you will turn this, uh, you will, will create a stream of air. So well, I think that it might uh, be fun to uh, if I show you some stuff that I've made uh, in real life. So uh, well. Gary's Mod is a fantastic tool to channelize um, your creativity through. I also play Minecraft, which also is a good game to channelizing your creativity and make, make cool structures. But uh, well, as you might be knowing yourself, if you have some kind of creativity, you can use it in other ways too. So well, that's my mechanical um, wonders for today. Well, anyways, um, thanks for watching and uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I wish you good luck. Well, Jimmy is out.